Bola Ahmed Tinubu, Nigeria's president, has directly threatened the judges sitting on the presidential election petition, judging him to see whether he is qualified to be Nigeria's president or whether he should be sacked. It is a direct threat to not only these judges, but the whole judiciary in Nigeria. And this is the second time this is occurring within his short less than two months in office. What a pity. I know that many people have said that Tinubu didn't say this, but we will give you the full proof where and how it was said. We will give you also the reactions of Nigeria to this threat. And we will again show you that Tunubu has not proven anything to Nigerians except that he's not ready to be president. We will give you the full evidence and you will understand where we are coming from in this video. Where did this threat come from? It came in the final address given to the presidential election petition tribunal sitting in Abuja through the lawyers of Bola Ahmed Tinubu, led by La, um, Olani Peku, a senior advocate of Nigeria. In their final address, they said something which we know is with the approval of Bola Ahmed Tinubu because they are the ones representing him. They directly threatened the judiciary. And the evidence is here for everybody to see. It. So there's no question of denying whether Tinubu said it or that. It is very clear, and we will show you that evidence now. On page 30 of that final address, Tinubu accepted that he did not win or that he is not qualified to be president, but then told the judiciary that they must declare him as the president. And I will read from page 30 of their uh, final address. With much respect, any other interpretation different from this will lead to one, absurdity, two, chaos, three, anarchy, for and alteration of the very intention of the legislature. This is in reference to Tinubu not scoring 25% in the federal capital territory, Abuja, as provided by the constitution. So his lawyers are saying, we didn't get 25%. Okay, Tinubu is not qualified based on this. But don't remove him because if you remove him, there will be anarchy, there will be absurdity, there will be chaos, and the rest of them. The question is, who will cause this anarchy? The question is, so Nigeria have two laws, one for Tinubu and the other law for the rest of us. So Tinubu is above the law. Nigerian judges should not remove him because he is Tinubu and they will no more follow the law when it comes to Tinubu. I have one question for every Nigerian who is saying that his lawyer said this, that is not Tinubu that said it. One simple question. What would have happened to Pito B if his lawyers in the final address said this sentence said by the lawyers of Tinubu? I am one million percent sure that DSS would have arrested P2B immediately. And if he, in less than 24 hours, and Tinubu supporters would be, would be the ones promoting it. So, reverse this and tell me, when they say it's not Tinubu, it doesn't mean it or whatever. If P2B's lawyers gave in a final address and made this statement, what will happen? Answer it truthfully as a Nigerian and we will tell us what would have happened. What Tinubu have done is called executive interference in the judiciary. 
using his power as president to threaten the judiciary to do what he wants. This is the beginning, and it will continue if Tinubu stays in office for the next four years. It has already happened because Emefiele is still in detention and Bawa is still in detention and none of them have been charged to court, no matter what they did. Even the MFL, we are now hearing they want to charge him for, to court for illegal possession of firearm pump action, a whole former governor of the Federal Bank, uh, Central Bank of Nigeria. What Tinubu is doing is too called total rascality and impunity. That is what P2B has been campaigning against. Impunity, rascality, judiciary. Do this. Judiciary, don't do that because I am Tinubu. It is an affront to the rule of law in Nigeria. It is no more the law that we rule. It is the whims and caprices of Tinubu and his uh, 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 group. It is a dictatorial tendency. We are no more in democracy. It is the president that detects what the law will be and what the judges will say. It is a damage to Nigeria integrity before the international community because Nigeria is run by a president who tells judiciary what to do. What if if Shell Oil Company, Total, IBM, Microsoft, um, all these international companies, you think they will come to Nigeria and do business when they know that the president can just tell the judiciary Seize all the assets and it will happen so. It's no more the law that is ruling. It's the president that has control of everything. He shows that he himself is above the law. It's this same rascality and brigandry that was demonstrated during the election. Everybody saw it. The anarchy. Destruction. Denial of people's rights to vote. You know... During this period, our respected Matthew Hassan Kuka, the Bishop of Sokoto, said that Tinubu is the most prepared president in Nigeria. And we accepted it because it's uh, 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 Matthew Hassan Kuka who said it. But the reverse has been now the case. Tinubu told us in so many interviews, the one he managed to give, that he will hit the ground running from the one. I will tell you what he has done so far, and you will see how a colossal failure this is. He announced removal of fuel subsidy off the cuff on the day he was being inaugurated. It was not in the address he was reading. He just said subsidy is gone. A pre, somebody who prepared for presidency for more than 20 years had to do this? Everybody knows the confusion and problem this caused. Now, and he came up with a palliative, and the palliative is that 12 million Nigerians will get 8,000 naira every month for 12 months. And I'm asking you, this is a solution of a primary school or secondary school student to this kind of uh, 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 problem of subsidy removal. This is a solution of a primary school student or secondary. It makes no sense. After 12 months, what happens? Nigeria have a population of 100 million living before, below poverty line, and you want to give 8,000 to 12 million people for 12 months? 8,000 is not even up to minimum wage. What economic impact will this make in Nigeria? This has no thought behind it. It makes no sense at all. We have to tell ourselves the truth, that this came from Tunubu with all the retinue of people flowing around him is a total dis disappointment and disaster. He told us he will hit the ground running, but we have 12 days left to 60 days of his installation. There is no ministerial list. He must nominate ministers within 60 days. Is 12 days left to 60 days. We don't have minister. There's even no nomination. Lists are just flying around everywhere. But who are those? So where is the preparation for Tinubu? 
The Naira has collapsed. Nigerian students abroad are crying. They can't pay their fees. Naira has collapsed. Where is the economic team? Tinubu is functioning alone, out of his whims and caprices, gives orders, and that is where we are. Fuel increased by three times in one country within one day. He cannot do it in a civilized society, and you get away with it. He has this uh, a goodwill from Nigeria, but it's completely gone. MFL and Bauer, like I said, they're still in detention, and you're a president that came now to, uh, as a civilian. So it's a total failure. Nobody will say that Tinubu is prepared for presidency. He is not, and he has been demonstrated. On the threat itself, the question is, who will cause this anarchy? Who will cause this chaos? Who is going to demonstrate and burn down everything and destroy everything because they disqualify Tinubu? Who? The APC supporters are totally disappointed today. They are Many are regretting supporting Tinubu. People are disillusioned. We have seen some of them shouting, we work for this man, hoping that things will change. And nothing have changed. All we have seen is a ragtag group of ex-Niger Delta militants coming to demonstrate in the court in Abuja, led by Asade Dokubo. Are these the people that will demonstrate? Many people have gone to Twitter and responded in social uh, media uh, uh, circles saying, the day they disqualified Tinubu, Nigeria will witness the highest joy, excitement, jubilation. People will pour out in the street and be rejoicing. So Tinubu is just less than two months, but the action so far, the economic hardship, the suffering is more than what Buhari unleashed on Nigerians in eight years. Nobody is going to die. There will be no anarchy, no chaos. Don't threaten Nigerians and judiciary. Don't take us for fools. If you are wrong, as you have accepted, that you didn't score 25% and you are not qualified to be president, you should be disqualified immediately. Nigeria will be so peaceful that you, Tinubu, and your gang will be forgotten within 12 hours. This is how we can take on this because sometimes you need to tell these people the truth and that is the way we have seen it. Thank you for watching this video. Please like it, share it, subscribe to our channel because we bring you all these analyses many times in a day. We will see you in our next update.